looks like we're rolling. Just let me say, can you say hi for a second? Hello. I think we're good. Hi, Camisa. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great. How Thanks. are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm doing good now that you're here. Thanks so much for coming in. Anytime. Uh, as soon as you told me about this, I was all in. Yeah. You've seen a couple of videos already. Yes, I have. So let's cut to the chase. You know the drill. Close your eyes and stick out your wrists. This is going to be on your left hand of that and on your right hand. Put your right hand behind your back, open your eyes, and have a sniff. First impressions. Ooh, that's so interesting. At first, I, I smelled like, like, like moss next to like a riverbed. Like it's fresh, but like there's still a little bit of muskiness there. Let's get your right hand first. First impression, top note. Whoa. Okay. Very different. This one's a lot more spicy. Like it reminds me of, like cinnamon and the mm. holidays. Also very good, very, very good. I can just like melt into this one. Let's go back to your left one real quick. And now that that's dried down a little bit more. Oh, okay, it's gone, it's gone a bit more musky again. Like there's, there's still that tiny bit of sweetness, but it's still very, it's clear. Like, I like the way that a, a forest smells like when you're walking through in autumn like mm. when the, the leaves have fallen down and it's a little bit damp and things are decaying, but it's, it's not bad. It's, it's a really nice smell. And what about the right one now that it's dried down a little mm -hmm. bit? Because they change from the top note to the dry down. Now they're, yeah, they're dried definitely. down. Definitely. I'm starting to get more woody smells from this one as well. I still, I still very much get the spiciness, like the cinnamon and, or like, like almost like dried apples or... Wow, you get a good nose. Something like that and... Definitely some, some wood, but like not, not like a thick, like smoky wood. It smells really like complex. What kind of a guy would wear the one on your left hand? Someone who's like very like tidy and has, has their, their life together. Maybe like almost a minimalist. On the right, this is, I think it goes a bit younger for me. It's... Mm -hmm. Which one of these two fragrances on a guy would get your attention more? That's really hard because I think me personally, for the, the smells that I like, I prefer the one on the right. Mm -hmm. But what I imagine the person would be like wearing the one on my left, I think would catch my attention more. It makes me a little bit more intrigued. Here comes the moment of truth. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be the winner? The one on your left hand or right hand? You can have one more sniff of okay. each. Go ahead. It's gonna be left. The left, yeah. wow, fantastic choice. Yeah. I will show you the one on your right. I'll hand that to you. This is Azaro Wanted. So Azaro Wanted, uh, you nailed it right off the bat with uh, all the spices and uh, you even smelt some very specific uh, spices. You've got the cinnamon, you've got uh, all those nice top notes and then you just kind of smelt the exoticness of it in the dry down. Mm -hmm. When you did pick, which oh. is Tom Ford Oudwood. Now this, this is Oud. Uh, displayed in a very unique way. It is oud and woody, like you said, except it is very almost sweet off the top. Mm -hmm. They mix so well together, but you wouldn't expect it. Tom Ford, Oudwood wins over Zara Wanted. Are you ready now to do a photo shoot with Tom Ford? I'm ready. Not Tom Ford, but it's as close as you can A get. girl can wish. I'll be alright. I'll be okay. Just so one night. I'll stay up.